asked my bird the question, Holmes, and the answer came back in the shape of a name. Blake Dexter. An arms industry VIP who seems to have taken a special interest in your girl. Dexter occupies the Terminus's top floor, and his thug has had the place sealed off tight. Still, a man of your skills and resources should be able to find several access points. Good luck, Holmes. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Welcome to another episode of my Hitman Absolution Let's Play. On uh, this episode, we are heading into the Terminus Hotel. Yeah, so in the last episode, it was sort of quick. I didn't really go over the story at all, but I'll just catch you up. So after the prologue, um, we are under ICA orders to kill Diana Burnwood, and we go through with the hit and shoot her, but then as she is bleeding out, she hands us an envelope and information about a girl named Victoria. And... In that moment, we go from being so loyal to the ICA that we're willing to kill Diana Burnwood, our longtime handler and confidant, to being willing to betray the ICA for the sake of a girl we've never met. So it's a bit of a bit of whiplash there. But we are now uh, on the outs from the ICA, and we are trying to protect a girl named Victoria. And we're working with a guy uh, named Bernie. Who uh, he is helping us to identify uh, people who are after Victoria. So we are here at the Terminus Hotel to go after a man named Blake Dexter, who is uh, looking for Victoria. So we're going to try and get him and stop him before he can find Victoria. So yeah, one of the so this level is sort of more typical of a lot of levels in Hitman Absolution. In this level, there is no target for us to kill, and, you know, there, there's nothing for us to do. We're just trying to get from point A to point B. And this is sort of, I think this is where the sort of problems for Absolution start to become apparent, is... This isn't really a Hitman level. Um, it's really more like a traditional stealth level. And I think... You know, one of the, the frustrating mechanical changes in Absolution is they, they essentially broke the disguise system. In Blood Money and also in World of Assassination, if you get a disguise, you basically have free reign to explore an area. Like, And if you can't explore an area, you just need to get the right disguise and you'll have a lot of freedom of movement and a lot of freedom to look around. But in Absolution, even if you have a disguise, most of the time there are... Well, any NPC has the same disguise as you can see through it, and in most levels, a lot of NPCs will have the same disguise. So you... It ends up being the case that disguises aren't really worth all that much, and... Practically speaking, the reason to get a disguise is so you can use the instinct system in Absolution to sort of blend in and sneak for a short period. Hello? Who man is like spreading bad vibes out here? Hello, anyone? That's why I say, yeah, the, the problems with Absolution are mostly in level design. It feels like if they had avoided uh, making the sort of linear sneak from point A to point B. There's no target. There's just, you know, there's just a place you have to get to stealthily. If they had avoided those kind of levels and did more traditional Hitman levels where you have a target and you have to take them out stealthily, I, I think this game would have, would have, well, it would have felt more like a Hitman game, and it would have—I felt like it would have done a lot better. Um, but yeah, even here, like I'm—you know—I'm allowed to be up here. Guards with this disguise are allowed to be here, but everyone up here is a guard, so everyone sees through my disguise. So it's like, what was the point of getting this disguise? Just to make it. Just to give me the option to hide myself 
awkwardly for a little bit of time. So here I'm trying to sneak up to the upstairs room to get close to a man named Blake Dexter. Oh yeah, here I was, I was just sort of exploring around, and here I find those staircase that would have been an alternate way up instead of taking the, the fire escape like I did to get up to this top floor. So I use a distraction to lure this guard over here, and then I choke him out. I probably didn't need to choke him out. I could have easily made it over to the window. Uh, so. Could have done this level slightly cleaner, but. I mean, it's a matter of style. There's no penalty for knocking people out so long as you hide the body. The, I mean, the penalty is cancel out. If you knock someone out and then hide their body, it ends up being a net zero on your score. Oh, the other thing I wanted to point out is because this level doesn't have a target for you to kill, um, the way the scoring system in Absolution works, there's no way to get Silent Assassin on this level. And that's true of a lot of levels. It's, it's one of the things that frustrated me a lot because I am very invested in getting Silent Assassin in a Hitman game. If I'm playing Hitman, I want to try and get Silent Assassin. And in Absolution, for most of the levels, it's literally impossible to get Silent Assassin, so... I rate that as more of a pet peeve. I feel like, you know, from a game design perspective, that's an okay choice, but yeah, just another little gripe I have with this game. Except we're coming up on... Oh, getting close to the end. Yeah, I've got to pick this lock here. And here, behind that door is our target, but the game railroads us into taking a vent to get there. And this is where the level's going to end. So, yep. Yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.